Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest VII for the 3DS. In the last episode, we made it to Alias Vale, and uh, we went through the Sanctum of Sirius. Anyways, we're just going to walk around. See if there's any treasures in the back. Uh, because, yeah, in the last episode, we came to the world of the winged, and the chest is empty. Yay. We came to the world of the winged, we came to find the stone that everybody's really pumped about um, having. And that's what we're going to do, we're going to find that stone. And as you can see, there's a statue of a woman with a pure heart. Yeah, whatever, let's fight him. Forget it, Hocus Chimera. Look at the, look at the detail on the floor, the reflective flooring. Can you imagine how hard it would have to be to, oh. Forget you, I'm not fighting you. Oh my god, like, no. Anyways, can you imagine the guy who's got to clean this floor up? It's got to suck. How do you scrub a floor like that back in the day without a nice, awesome mop? The first came in land carried upon the breeze. Yeah, so maybe we'll find out where these guys originally came from, eventually. Right now, they're just living on the land. The people of Sirius possess a unique ability to harness the power of the wind, and make sure the thing is the breezes, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so there we go. I think we already fought money bags there. Oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Stay away from me. He's a stalker. I don't like it. Creepy, man. Had to do like in a, like in a murder mystery. You gotta hide behind... You gotta hide behind the... The barrels. Hopefully the killer doesn't get you. There we go. Just smashing things. Collecting treasures. We got a Chimera Heart. Yay. Look at this guy. He's still trying to get us. And we get some gold. Look at this. We just crack everything. Oh, a mimic. Mimic, mimic, mimic. But yeah, to keep the floors this shiny and wonderful without a, uh, without a, uh, buffer or something, I commend them. All right, Mervin. Oh, you're black belt now. Nice. But yeah, you go, Mervin. Six, five, seven, six. Okay. Ah, uh, creep monster got me. Focus Chimera and Harmor. We already saw these guys, but whatever. Yay! Nothing there. Damn it, you hocus chimeras. And look at that, a bag of laughs. <laughs> and there we go, gone forever. And Ashland's knuckle sandwich, sweet. Alright, so there's all the treasures in here. Now let's head on up. Uh, yeah, this way, I guess. Oh, look, we can fight you. We can fight you, biting bat booms. And they're down for the count. Oh, come on, bag of laughs. Oh, 
But yeah, I really like how uh, they work the floor here. It's very nice. Um, one thing I wish... Let's get down the stairs. And up the stairs. You know, with, I'd be mad if I was, um... The janitor or whatever, because I'd be like, Look at these guys running around with your boots. You're guffing up the floor. You're guffing it up. Stay away from me, man. No, I didn't want Kazing. I wanted this. Alright, up the stairs. Let's sniff around here. I don't think that there's anything here. Only one treasure. Alright, fair enough. So over here we have this uh, this new thing here, where we hit a switch, we all walk, and like that, rotating floors. Thank goodness there are no monsters over here, so you can concentrate on what you need to do in order to win. And here's the one treasure. Hey! Now we could go up these stairs. I think I'll try this. And yeah, we'll go here. And uh, yeah, out here. Sure. And here we come towards a. Here a stand that she bringeth the eternal wind. Yeah, so this uh, lady there is the wind goddess. The goddess of wind. The breeze is coming from this direction. So yeah, I want to say, before we go over there, I want to do something. There doesn't appear to be any treasures. Alright, fair enough. But there might be... Let's just head back. You know, I'm being a, a, weird, a weirder. I mean, it's nice that the, the, the area is a little different than where we usually do things, which I guess is cool. All right, absolutely nothing. You wait, you... Good day, sir. Absolutely nothing. Sorry. I'm just thinking about Willy Wonka. And yeah, there are areas that we can hit the switch... I think we're going to have to do that later. We, I believe we have to come back here a little later. Who's calling it? Ah! Sorry about that. Got a phone call from a friend. Actually, I, I think he butt-dialed. To be honest... Alright, so read when none may pass, they're not the tribe of Cirrus. So here we get the pedestal, the sacred stone. And yeah, the wind blowing through the sanctum. Yeah, let's head back to the veil. Yeah, let's head back to the veil. Please tell me we don't have to walk all the way back. Oh, we gotta walk all the way back. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll just... I'm in it. See, in the past, you can't even warp. You gotta... Yeah, in the past, you can't even zoom over to the new area. You gotta walk back there? Come on, game. Anyways, yeah, this is Donkey Odi. And we get a box of shorts, yay. Oh, come on, I didn't even see this friggin' guy.
Yeah, I don't know why they just didn't let you automatically when you get the damn thing, you can just go back, man. It's stupid. Anyways, let's walk back. I won't be showing coming back through here for sure. You know what? The floors here are pretty nicely waxed too. It seems like that. It seems like, uh. Whoever's cleaning the floors here, the monsters must be doing this one because. The monsters are, uh. Are doing a good job. Oh, you gotta be effing me. Alright, I'll meet you in the back at the Vale. Alright, we're back at the Vale. Are serious? Now let's go talk to the, um, the dude, whatever the hell his name is. The creator or whatever. We'll go talk to him and show him that we got the wind stone. And yeah, I've been debating whether I should bring or uh, get rough back, but I'm just going to keep him for this scenario right now as a hero. Where is he? Life in the Veil would come to an abrupt end. No, I don't know. Yeah, the winds of Veil will not cease. Dine addled paddle block have a father. So they're mistaken. It's not the stone that's kept the wind from baiting. Rather, the stone that keepeth in fear of the abatement. Without it, we have naught to fear. Without him, I would not stand here before, Grandma. Yeah, so the Grandma's trying to talk some sense into this little girl, Fidelia. Which is a nice little name. But yeah, they're, they're always button heads here. Shame to call him son, why? As though truly? Give the stone to you? Yeah, sure. Oh, the winds are scared a thousand things. Yeah, give me a reward. Yay! Guest of honor! And the morning comes, and the sanctum is still surrounded by darkness. Alright, yeah, let's go speak to the creator. Yeah, let's go visit. Let's go speak to the creator. Yo, Praetor! What's happening? Man, what are they yapping about? I disposed of it, as you should have done long ago. The villa since Justine. I handed it to Fidelia, and she ventured to gather flowers and begged her to cast to the river where it belonged. Yeah. She would never do anything to upset you. Oh, fiddlesticks, the girl's gratitude towards these make that blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this guy's a jerk.
Yeah, maybe we should go talk to her. And you give us an agility, a mercury bandana. Yay. Yay for speed. Yeah, let's go find her so she doesn't throw that stone away and all of our hard work. I have to head off into the into the sanctum. The Solarian Sanctum or something. Where are the flowers anyways? Up top? Oh, now the wind isn't blowing right. Yeah, I do. I do admit that I do like the uh, the idea of uh, two town or, or town being on the middle of a riverbed like this. And yes, now all the wind has died down, knocking these these uh, people unconscious, and all because the wind is not blowing. But yeah, I, I didn't mention on how much I do enjoy the, uh, this town in the essence of, like, just the way that it's located together. I think, I think it's cool. Where is the wind beneath their wings? Ceasing the wind is not the slightest thing with the beloved stone. I've not always done myself, I doubt my own beliefs. What do we have to do? She wanted to go. Alright, so now we gotta go find Fidelia, who sh should be. Collecting flowers probably on the top of the cliff. Or the top of the town over there. But yeah, you can't go through a town without, uh, or at least a town in the past, without this music playing, right? Eventually, we, I don't think we'll actually hear this music anymore. I think? Yeah, there's a there's a hidden source of wind behind all of it, I guess. Everybody's feeling the everybody's feeling the uh, the pressure. All right, let's see if we see Fidelia. Help me! Oh, oh no. Whoa, she's floating. Is it the power of the stone, or is it just her own power? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? How'd you do that? Yeah, let's go see your dad now. Alright, now it's time to go talk to the dad. Yeah, let's go talk to the Praetor. Yeah, with villages like this, they definitely have to be creative with the camera work when doing stuff like this, you know what I mean? Because the statue of the Great Spirit within the Sanctum has been engulfed by darkness. 
Yeah, she basically, yeah, we remember she was the one who brings the true wind, the, the wind spirit. Yeah, I get it. We gotta go get rid of the statue, the, the evil wind near the statue. And only the uh, blood of the Cirrus can open it. Yep. And finally, they were born here in this very house. Yeah, so apparently she is really uh, one of the winged folks. She just didn't end up having wings. And yeah, the dad thought that it would bring great shape on the house, so he basically lied and said that he found her. And he's a he's a jerk. And yeah, now is the time where she needs to, uh, you know, I guess, I don't know, take place as destiny or something. I don't know. Yay! Little kid joined the group. Another little child. So yeah, I think Aris is probably, what, like 16? Gabba's probably like 12? Maybe not even? 8? 9? Melvin's pretty old. I'm not even gonna try and guess. Kiefer was 16 or 8? No, Kiefer was 18. And... Marybelle was 16 too. And then, I think Ash is supposed to be, like, 18, maybe, I think? I don't know, I, I don't remember their ages. But anyways, now we have... <coughs> yeah, we're gonna beat the Gloom. Yep. She's only got little legs. She's got tiny little legs. So what I'll do is I'll probably just meet you over there, uh, at least in the sanctum, and then we'll go through that again. I'm not gonna walk you through that stupid uh, cloud thingy, the thing that the monsters built. No, thank you. Alrighty. So let's just take a step on outside. Hello. Oh, he's unconscious. Uh, great. Great. Anyways, we'll meet you back over there. Alright, so here we are. We're back at the Sanctum of, of Sirius. And at least now we can just go through it. Right? Without actually having to deal with uh, any of the sidetracks of leveling or, or uh, of uh, fighting. I think I already fought the Red Scorpion guy. And apparently the little girl has nothing to say. Anyways, yeah, that's the statue over there. That we need to figure out how to cleanse the uh, evil energy from there. And basically what we need to do... Is we need to put the... The, uh... The wind back over here. And what we need to do... Is none so pass it except the tribe of the Sirius. And here she's gonna actually... This is where, this is it. This is where we're gonna find out if she's really the blood, which I think she will be. Yep. Nice, you're the real true blooded. You're the real true blooded uh, lady, or winging lady and yeah it shuts so we need yeah we don't have a lot of time and actually we have all the time in the world they say we don't we have little time but they always lie 
Big liars they are. Anyways, here's the top of the, the shrine. And we can go inside and... Here's, here's a clue. Send the wind to the sullied spirit free that she might shine for all the world to see. So there you go. Basically, we have to send the wind from that stone. Um, or, yeah, the wind from that stone over to, uh, whatever. Over to the thing. So what we have to do is do a little switchy switch. Turn some stuff so that the wind... See, it's blowing out of here, but it has to blow into right there. You see right over here? And just for S and G... Yeah, okay, there's nothing here. I was gonna say, just for shits and giggles, I want to see. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh no, wait. Never mind. Alright, so we gotta get the the air blowing over here. So there we go. Now we just need to have it go like this. There we go, there. We have the wind blowing here. We almost got it. And where's the switch? Where's the button? There we go, we did it! I think there's another way that you could do it, but this one works, right? Yay, we did it! Well, blow me down, it seems my sanctum has been infiltrated. Gandalf in wind form. Alright, so she went to go get the stone. And here we are. Blow me out of water. Come in, let me tell, take you a little one toward pain. So now it's time to take on Cumulus Vex. And I am actually going to change. There we go. And do you have anything good? Really good, no. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just attack, I guess. Yeah, there we go, just keep punching it. There you go, keep punching, yes! Good form, good form, all of you. Yeah! Oh, here's backup, here's my backup. Too bad we're just gonna keep taking on the uh, main 
the main man himself. And there's Big Banger, that's like one of the best spells. Yes. Yeah, that hurts. Classic Omni Heal, nice. Giga Slash, terrific. Man, she is just. We are just punching the shit out of this cloud. I love it. And there you go, Cumulus Vex is dead. And Aris is on level 29. Oh, and Ruff's on 27. I blew it all, I'm gonna lose you. I gonna storm that one. I, did I go too easy on you? I think I did. No, it's because you and this is not liking each other working as a team. Yeah, well, mo good thing monsters don't work as a team. Although they did that one time in Final Fantasy IV. And we have restored all the order. You tell me I gotta walk back there? What the friggity diggity? You kidding me? Anyways, I think I can just go here. And skip all this baloney. And none of you guys have anything to say, huh? No! Um, what the, what the devil? There we go. And just in case you didn't know how to get out of there, I guess I'm showing it. And yeah, the enemies are gone. I think they're gone. Yeah, the enemies are gone. This place is a holy place once again. Are there anyone here now? No, no one's here yet. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot to show coming back is if you went to that little village. Yeah, now, now that that. Whoops. Anyways, now that that uh, that thing is gone, so that's pretty cool. The um, the the like little dungeon in between. Now, if you didn't get everything there, you were you're SOL now. So make sure you've gotten everything there before you finish this area. Now let's come in here and tell these people that the that the thing has been saved. Oh, I don't want to peer into the well. There's nothing in the well. I already checked the well. I want to talk to you three. Yep. Yeah, now these guys can go back home. Yep, and it's all thanks to Fidelity, Fidelia, Fidelity. It's all thanks to Fidelity, the the 401k plan.
Putting your pensions first. Sponsored. This stream is sponsored by Hannah. <laughs> no. This stream is. This uh, video is sponsored by Fidelity. <laughs> oh, Lordy. All right, let's uh. Let's go. To, I'm just gonna go over there and see these guys. I'm not gonna go too crazy, like you know, talking to everybody or whatever. All right, Ash. Ash is done, I think. Yeah, so there's a pleasant breeze. Yeah, okay. So you're almost done, and you're almost done. Yeah, I might not have to waste too much time in between episodes uh, leveling the jobs up. So yeah, here are the people here. And yeah, you can actually save your game here if you need. No, I'm not going to bother. But yeah, everybody's here. Everybody's happy. Yippee, yippee, yippee. How about you guys train an elite force of folk that don't get screwed over by by uh, enemies ever again, huh? You can call them the winged assassins or something. That'd be kind of cool. The winged assassins. But yeah, Fid Fidelia should be pretty happy. I just, you know what? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. Every time I say her name, I just think of Eyes Wide Shut. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, um, but like the password in that movie, it's about a about a couple going through kind of a weird period in their in their relationship, and it's by, with Tom Hanks. Uh, yeah, Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks is in it. Uh, Tom Cruise and what's her name? And anyways, uh, Nicole Kidman, and uh, he goes to a orgy dungeon, an uh, orgy cult thing. And, uh, or a sex thing, whatever the hell it is, it's basically an orgy, right? And he has to get in and he has to do it. The password is Fidelio. And yeah, finally this brother sticks up, or this kid sticks up for Fidelia. But yeah, the password was Fidelio. And you have to wear like masks. People have probably seen it. And if you haven't, good for you. I mean, it's a pretty alright movie. Yeah, this is the right thing to do. Good job. Don't, don't, uh, don't be mean to the little girl. She didn't do anything wrong. Sure, she doesn't have wings, but maybe, maybe there's a reason why. But yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't be mentioning, uh, the O word around other people, but whatever. I just use I just use those words. I'll just name you know any anything could be the blank word. I I usually do. part of the you're part of the clan and it was your father and she she was to blame too I've got to despise my own flesh and blood I feel neither malice nor business indeed I've been happy yeah your father really is your father yeah why don't you go out and play Yeah, she used the stone and it helped her fly. Yeah, let's go see what's going on. Do you have anything to say? Huh? You're an a-hole, Dad. You should apologize to your daughter. Kicking a bird out of the nest. 
look at that, she can fly. She can fly, he can fly, she can fly, she can fly, she can fly. Dumbo, baby. So she can use a stone in order to fly. And she doesn't want to keep the stone. Wow, what a what a what a terrific kid. Yeah, you can give it to me. Granted the gift of flight and cause the wind to blow. Yeah, it might, it might be might be good on our adventures probably. And yay, we get the sacred stone. Yeah, I mean they want us to return. Isn't it the Praetor's favorite thing in the whole wide world? Well, he's not getting it. And yeah, she is, she really is a, she's really a, a really smart, really resourceful little girl. She's great. And yeah, she could fly, but she didn't want to. She knows where she belongs. And she knows that she's part of this clan and that, you know, all that good stuff. Anyways, we're going to head back to the future, or the present. And honestly, uh, I'm not sure if I want to visit this place quite yet in the present. I almost want to finish off Melvin and, uh, and uh, Aris's, uh job classes. And then just switch them, and then I don't even literally have to do nothing. I don't have to do any on, uh, off screen grinding or job leveling or whatever the hell you want to call it. But yeah, this is one way that they saved on space, I guess, through the cartridge. Just make, cut the, these little spots up. Let's, let's cut these little spots up in the. You know, cut the world up a little bit. So Ash, how does it feel to be on your first adventure, your first time traveling adventure? Must be cool, huh? You got to save a realm. And unfortunately we didn't end up getting any shards. I guess I guess we could go look at the uh the new area. I don't know where it would be. Yeah, whatever. Let's warp here. We'll find it on the map. Oh, there it is on the on the bottom over there. All right. Well, there we go. We can fly over with our magic carpet. I can show you the world. I don't know if I already did that. Honestly, I don't know if I did. Shining, shimmering, splendor. All right, enough. I hear you. Sometimes you gotta self-censor yourself. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just have to say, hey, Pete, or hey, name. Enough is enough. Whoa, what is this? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start on the bottom. All right, this is definitely the, the biggest uh, the island. But yeah, now we have Ventus Tower here. I've never seen a tower like this. 
How is there a history here? Wait a minute, I don't understand. Yeah, what is this? This tower is not there in Fidelia's day. Yes, I do. Whoa. He just made fun of us. He called us dopey. I don't appreciate it. Anyways, there you go. There's a tower there. Maybe we'll come into play later. Honestly, if, if, uh... If I could, I would I would easily use the magic carp here. But the problem with that is then I don't think you get to see if there's treasures. That's honestly the only problem. Otherwise, I would use the magic carpet. Nothing here. Yay! Ah, uh, this music brings back memories of Dragon Quest Heroes 2. I mean, I know it originally was here, but... In this game, but... castle over there. I wonder if that S start. Yeah, the next area is a real... A real... Nothing? Nothing here either. Huh? The next area is a real piece of work. Man, that, those guys that live there, I wanna... I just wanna... Oof. I hate them. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. The whole town sucks except for a few people. You probably don't want to talk about. Sucks, 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 sucks. They suck. As people, they really suck. I don't like them. They suck real bad. All right. Hi, welcome to Alias Vale. I can imagine living here, yeah, it'd be nice. And yeah, this is not the area that I would live in, though. I think, I don't remember which area I would live in. Whoa! Whoa, these guys can't fly anymore? No, I don't think that's a lot of nonsense. So, wow, so apparently these guys can't fly. Yeah, I wonder what happened to them to make them lose their wings. I guess maybe we'll find out. Or maybe we won't. Yeah, so... It's kind of like a really interesting, unique... Uh, look at the world here, where these people... These people wish they could fly, but they can't. And then the other people back then, they couldn't fly for a bit because... for whatever. Nothing, really. Alright, so she can't... We're not even gonna be able to see the mayor, huh? Interesting. No one has seen the mayor. I wonder how many generations it's been since... No, I don't want to stay. I wonder how many generations it's been since, uh... Like, th they lost their wings. I wonder if it happened just on... Like, did it happen, like, just right away? Like, one day, like, oh, look, hey, hey, this one doesn't have any wings. And then, like... Or did they all wake up one day and it's like, oh, no one has wings anymore. Is it like an MIB moment where they just erased everybody's memory of winged folk or something? Or I wonder. Hey, here's a kitty. They didn't have a kitty before. That's kind of cool. Let me 
these kids are playing with boomerangs. You know, boomerangs are a nasty thing. Yeah, boomerangs are nasty. They're a nasty thing, they could get you, they could destroy you. They could potentially destroy you. Lila, Fiona. Anyways, we have stuff here I'm not gonna buy. Hello, sir. Yeah, too bad I've got it. I've got the stone, you don't have the stone. Hello. Where's who's Porcus? Boomerangs are on. Oh, hello, Porcus. That's a cute pig. Oh, you know, there's not enough piggies in the games. You know, what's interesting. Final Fantasy IV had a piggy spell. The Final Fantasy do we have a piggy spell? I think it did. But yeah, piggies, I like them, they're cute. I probably talked about this before, but babe, better than Charlotte's Web. At least in terms of the pigs. In terms of the pigs, babe is way better. I mean, babe does stuff. Wilbur does, all he does is cry. Like a bitch. Please don't kill me, wah, wah, wah. Get out there and do something, babe. Or Wilbur, whatever your GD name is. Maybe if he worked. Not like, a, you know, I mean, I guess... He lived on Charlotte's Web. Alright, so look, we can buy this flame boomerang. Which will hit all people, but we don't really need it because we don't need to cause catastrophe. Can you imagine if any of those kids end up collecting that amount of money to buy a flaming boomerang? That's it. Game over, guys. We're burning down the town. And this is why we need outlaw boomerangs. First, it starts with the regular ones, then I want to get the upgraded models that are edged. They're gonna cut people. Then, yeah. So maybe we'll meet the mayor later, I guess. Then after edge boomerangs, then you get, then you get uh, flaming boomerangs, automatic boomerangs. You know how it goes. They get a boomerang gun to just shoot the boomerangs. How come no one's invented that yet? Maybe it's been invented, and I don't even know. You know what, I, I know that they're... Anyways, yeah, everybody's talking about blah, 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 blah. Anybody's... <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Jeez. Um... Yeah, I know they have a net gun, right? That's, that's a real thing. A gun that can shoot a net. How does the net not get tangled? Because... With the net, you have like four ends to it, right? And then you shoot the gun, right? Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Right? And you put the gun so that it has the four ends and then it shoots, right? And whammo! You could trap someone with a net gun. Now we need a boomerang gun. Something that shoots a boomerang. The greatest minds in the world could be working on this. And make a bunch of money and please credit me. I won't credit me. Put me down as the patent holder. <laughs> the boomerang gun. Kenshin 1913. Oh god. Is this the most... Is this honestly the most... Yeah, Fidelia is the name of the great spirit of wind. 
Yeah, so her stuff must have been stuff of legends. <laughs> yeah, Fidelia. Just as lively as ever. What are you talking about? It wasn't lively before. Now you got people in here praying to the wind. Too bad there is no sacred stone here, huh? You guys are... Yeah, alright, well, pray, pray, pray. But yeah, I, you know, if you put down the patent for the boomerang gun, I'll, I only want like a, a $500. And that's nothing in the, in the amount of money you're going to make selling a boomerang gun. What's your great discovery? Oh, he forgot what it was. Uh -huh. The shrine broke into four pieces. One which was located far to the east. Oh, right, 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 right. I know what they're talking about. A different shrine. A notorious thief named Little Ronnie, and their ancestor Big Ronnie. Yeah, well, you know that's life. They might, you know what? Just go back to boomerangs, Nerf boomerangs, right? They they had those. I think I remember seen those back in the day. Oh, everybody fell asleep. Not ah, cool. Wake up, everybody. Wake up! Wake up! But yeah, I think I remember Nerf. Here we go. I remember Nerf boomerangs. I think a boomerang just has to be a certain shape, right? So that it can come back and, like, it's got to be in an angle. Some sort of thing. Oh, come on. Another one? It has to be on, like, an angle or something. You know, I, I think this is besides, like, besides... Alright, I don't know what... Besides specific boomerang videos that literally just talk about boomerangs and whatnot, this is probably the... This is probably, honestly, the, um... Yeah, Pamela can tell you where there's many males, I believe. But yeah, this is probably the most you've heard about boomerangs in a video that doesn't specifically have anything to do with boomerangs. And that's because you're hearing the ramblings of someone... I don't know. I'm in like a zone right now. Yeah, I'm here to see Fidelia. Sure, I would love the rest. Just don't kill me. But yeah, Fidelia. Boomerangs and more. And look at this guy sleeping. Should be protecting these barrels. You're not protecting the barrels, buddy. Yay, meat. Meaty treat, which is, uh... Item you can throw to enemies so that if you want them to join your monster meadow, you can totally do that. Speaking of which, I gotta do that. I also gotta look for uh, more monster fellas. Maybe after the, maybe after this video, and we pick up a blue fragment. Yeah, you know what I'll do is I'll finish exploring this area. In the next episode, I'll have new job classes and we'll go searching for some uh, some monsters. For the uh, DL, uh, the Monster Town, and I'll go give the monster enclosures and everything, and mini mills. We'll do some odds and ends before we head to the next, the next area, which is an area that I hate, hate, hate. And it's not because it's honestly not because of uh, the like monsters or anything there. It's just I hate this scenario because the people there suck. I hate them. They suck so bad. 
they suck real bad. And yeah, as you can see, they changed up this area that you can now walk over here. And honestly, I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, okay. So we can just go up. Yeah, I believe they just got rid of all the crap. Maybe? Maybe they got rid of all the crap? Yeah, so that guy told me that, even though I already knew that. Thanks, guy. You know, you figure that they'll, they'll, they would, uh... At least... They would at least, uh... To the decency of not having to do this again. Here stand the sea who brings the eternal wind. Hello. Look at this yellow fragment. Sweet. Hello, lady. Yeah, I would love for you to open the door for me. Yep, so they got someone here to open up. They got someone here to, um, Open up the thing here and show off the yada yada yada. Yeah, so this guy doesn't understand anything. Whoa, 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 look at this. They changed it up. There's a warpy point here. This leads back to, uh... This totally leads back to, uh, the, the Shrine of Mysteries. So there you go. That's good to know for when, when, I don't know, when we, when we gotta do stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. But yeah, that's good. Alright, we're almost done here, I think. I don't think there's any, anything here. Okay, good. Let's just head right down here. Alright, hello. And sure, and sure, da 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 da. A long back in the day when a sir was able to fly, great evil descended upon the air, blah blah blah. Fortunately, a savior. A young girl, along with four heroic hero friends. That's us, nice. Oh no! They don't remember us? You know, at least we. At least we remember, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. So she... She, uh... She did a good job. Good for her. Um... You know what? While we're here, let's head over to the Monster me Meadows. I might as well do this. You know what? I'll do two of, two of the three things I was going to do in the last episode. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to give this guy... I'm going to give this fella... We don't have anywhere for the monsters, to be honest. I don't have the first idea. Yeah, all right. Why do you have to give me the same, same spiel, man? Shut up. All right, so did I just give them to you? Wait a minute. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought that said something else. Oh my God. 
I thought that that said something else. Something dirty. Because I'm tired. <laughs> I think that's honestly... Uh, I think that's honestly why... I thought I gave you some friggin' uh, monster enclosure stuff. Hate mail, get it? Uh, mysterious fragments. Nope, I guess I gave them to him. I could swear maybe I gotta leave and come back in. I'm not sure. But I don't really care. I'm not. This is not. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna deal with. Uh, like in the other, like in the original game, I dealt with like, oh yeah, I'll get monsters and stuff. Not in this game, not not in this version. I'm not dealing with that. So let's head over to King Maximo's mansion or whatever. See if we have enough mini mails to get our last thing, and then I'm done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to. In between episodes, I'm gonna finish job leveling, and then I'm gonna change to different jobs. Once you have 75, I'll award you in the enclosure plan. All right, cool. But yeah, um, what I'll do... What's going on? Oh, God. All right, I got to do all that over again. So in the next episode, I'm going to have the job classes all done. And um, we're going to go and do some monster looking up for the... Uh, I don't want to do all this over. Anyways, we're gonna do all that in the next episode. I'll meet you. It might, honestly, it might not be for another day or two because I gotta go through this again, and I really don't want to. So I've been Kenshin 1913, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.